have to stand up and say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. That's it. Going forward, you know, we're going to call for a social democratic movement of anyone that is interested in putting the country first to come together. It's as simple as that. Not to discuss ideology or isms or Marxism or capitalism or socialism, but giving people jobs, giving people houses, giving people the right to be educated and also the freedom to think and not to fear anyone. So the social democratic movement must focus on a plan to eradicate poverty by 2050, to create jobs, at least a certain number of jobs every year, to attract investment and essentially to build a new leadership cadre of mainly young people that can lead the country into a completely different dimension and trajectory. And that will require for us to, to, to bring people together, bring the leadership, those that are, have the brightest ideas, the architects, the designers of our future together, to implement such a program through a process of political power. Because you cannot do that in isolation. So it is time that South Africans take control of their own, own destiny. Because if they fail to do that, if as South Africans we fail to do that, then we have no future, no matter what anyone says. So this movement, the social democratic movement, isn't about personalities of the past isn't about individuals. It's not about even those parties themselves. It is about a call to action by South Africans for South Africans to create a new leadership that will emerge over the next few years to take our country in the right direction. And through the networks that people like myself have to attract Genuinely so, because now people will see that the capital is being utilized in the right way to create jobs which create a, a rising economy to benefit everybody, to attract trillions of rands worth of investment. Real investment, not just publicity shows. Um, because now we can say, look, we have a plan to build 10 million houses in the next 10 years a million houses a year. This is the partnerships in the private and public sector. This is the budgets, like China did, to build the roads, to build the schools. We, we, we are going to make capital accessible to all businesses to be able to create jobs, grow the economy, to produce for the country, to do exports. But we're going to do it in a way which is highly supportive of it. We're going, to, we're going to train our young people to think in terms of the application of software, digitalization, to embrace the digital economy, because it is the young people that can do that, not the older generation, like myself, for example. And we are not going to be diverted in this movement by personalities and issues and power and money and all those things, because the only criteria that one is going to have for you if you want to join the social democratic movement, is that you must put the interests of the country ahead of your own. That's it. But give your time to build the country in an unselfish manner and without expecting anything in return other than the fact that this will become the most beautiful country in the world to live in because we will have eradicated poverty, we will have created jobs, and have given our people dignity and taken our place, our rightful place in the world as a great nation, and not be embarrassed by those that are in power that do silly things. Because right now, we're an embarrassment to the world. I mean, it would be sad in a way to see someone like Nelson Mandela living today to see what has become of our country. 
I think he would be deeply, deeply saddened by the violence, in particular the violence against women. As someone who deeply respected women, he would be saddened by the joblessness, the poverty, the the lack of infrastructure, roads, water, electricity. It doesn't have to be like that. It is up to us to be able to show that that is not the way South Africa has to go. We have an opportunity. We have a time. As people say, second jala, now is the time to grab this opportunity and to be courageous and grab it in spite of what anyone else says, right? And to bring together like-minded people. Came together, we overcame apartheid. What we now need is to build that common ground again. So we're at that point where we can grab the baton, passed on to us by, by other generations, and change forever the future of this country. But if we drop that pattern now, there isn't going to be an opportunity to pick it up again. So this call for a social democratic movement is a very serious one because we now need to take control of our own destiny and we need to do so very, very seriously. And from my side, you know, I'm committed to providing the resources uh, to anybody who wants to put the country first and themselves second, to come together and map out a very practical plan to achieve those objectives um, in the next few years. So that is my call for the launch of a social democratic movement to achieve those objectives.